So this is some sort of closure for one family, but not for a second family. Yes, I mean, this hearing's been about the murder of Sean O'Callaghan, and I hope we've provided legal closure for Sean's family and friends, although obviously they've still got to live with the tragedy of, of what happened to her. Um, with regard to um, Becky Gordon Edwards or Becky Gordon's family, um, nobody's formally had a charge put to them in court for the murder of their daughter. But obviously our thoughts are with them, and uh, we very much hope that one day uh, we'll be able to get justice for her as well. It will seem extraordinary to some people that this man led police to a body and yet isn't before a court charged with this woman's murder. Well, we have to operate within the law of the land as it stands and we have to respect rulings of the court and we brought what we thought was legally admissible evidence uh, of a second murder before a court. That evidence was challenged before Mr Halliwell was even asked to enter a plea and the judge has made a ruling that we can't use that evidence so, and we have to obviously abide by that ruling and live with the consequences. Laws are there for a reason uh, and we have to operate within them. Where does the investigation go now with regard to Becky Gordon Edwards? Well, you've heard Detective Superintendent Pritchard say in a media conference this afternoon that it's an open investigation and I know Wiltshire Police uh, will keep it very much as a live open investigation and if any new evidence comes to light, they'll bring it to us and we'll consider where that takes us. Can you tell us anything about the reaction of Becky's family to, to what's been happening? Well, I've met with both of her parents a number of times at meetings in this office and, and around court. And indeed, my Deputy Chief Crown Prosecutor has met with them uh, as we've been speaking. They're um, understandably frustrated. Uh, they find it hard to accept the legal rulings that have been made uh, and our role has been trying to explain it to them and, and at least put them in a position where they understand what's going on even if not even if it doesn't lead to the result they would clearly hope for so I hope we can help them understand the process um, we can't really do much more for them at this stage other than keep the investigation open and keep an open mind about where we go next